Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been long, so starting with a new video today. The topic for today is ranula. We have already discussed mucosal and ranula is very much similar to mucosal. Instead, you can say that ranula is a form of mucosal. It is a type of mucosal only, but a very specific thing here is that it is found only on the floor of the mouth. If you remember, I told you that mucosal can be in any region. It can be on the lower lip, it can be on the upper lip, it can be on the buccal mucosa. Most commonly it is on the lower lip, but it can be present on these two sides also. But a ranula will only and only be present on the floor of the mouth. Like this in the figure you can see, below your tongue is the site, the floor of the mouth is basically the site where a ranula is present. Here also in the previous picture you can see this is what a ranula looks like. Always a same specific site. So you see it is very much similar to a frog's belly. If you see the anatomy of this, it is similar to a frog's belly. Now if you see the difference in the site of ranula and mucosal, ranula as I just told you is only present on floor of the mouth. Whereas a mucosal is commonly found on lower lip but can also be seen on upper lip and the buccal mucosa. Moving ahead to the causes of ranula, what leads to a uh, causing of ranula? It is mainly related to trauma to the sublingual salivary gland. So whenever there is trauma to the sublingual salivary gland, that is this gland here below your tongue, then it leads to a ranula. It can also be sometimes related to the submandibular and the other salivary gland trauma. Now you see, this is your sublingual gland and this is your submandibular salivary gland. So if there is any trauma in this particular gland or in the submandibular gland, it can lead to a ranula, but not in the parotid gland. Moving ahead to the clinical features, usually appears dome shape. So if you don't know, dome shape is somewhat like this. This is a dome shape and this is how it looks. Seen on the floor of the mouth, it resembles the frog's belly as I just uh, made you see in the picture. Deeper ranula are normal color because they are going to uh, make their color very much similar to the surrounding tissue. So there will be normal color of the deeper ranula similar to a mucosal. Whereas in superficial uh, uh, ranula or in superficial cases, the color of the ranula will be blue and translucent because there is the fluid, the mucus is all fluid inside it. And I already told you in the previous video that mucus is blue in color. So that mucus mucin material is blue in color so it imparts blue color and it's translucent. The size is very much larger in ranula than in uh, mucosal. Due to increased size of the tongue, uh, sorry, due to the increased size of the ranula, the tongue moves upwards and swelling becomes very very difficult. So just try to imagine here that if somebody is having a ranula here, obviously the tongue is not getting any place to settle down. So the tongue is going to move upwards and so deglutination or swallowing becomes very very difficult for that person. Coming to the histological features, it is very much similar to mucosal. I hope you have seen the previous video. If you haven't, please go and check that. The treatment, the operators prefer to unroot the lesion rather than the complete excision. Now it is quite different than the mucosal. In mucosal, what we used to do is we used to drain the mucin. Also, we used to remove the lesion completely. But here in the case of ranula, you can see what the operator is doing. He's putting a incision here on the lesion and then he is just unroofing the lesion and not completely removing the uh, ranula from that area. And then he is putting this uh, sutures here. Now this is what we are supposed to do. Uh, we are just supposed to unroof the lesion rather than complete excision. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know in the comment section. Also, I will appreciate if you can take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.